Welcome everybody, it's that time again, we're back. Season two, uh, let me just sort this light. much 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 better well then it's season two we're back we're ready uh just want to recap season one because obviously i haven't been around for you guys i haven't been able to uh, to tell you how season one ended um because i've had university deadlines which have been very crucial to my course so i've got to make sure i get those done first um obviously and then i can try and get this done in the process as well so i want to get this out uh, this is the saturday in which this has gone up Saturday the 19th uh, we're just going to do a recap on the tournament because uh, it was it was very well done to Lizard Squad they came through and won the tournament section of the um, of the first season which is which is absolutely incredible I must say um, it's an incredible feat they lost their first game and then they didn't lose a game after that. Even when taking a week's break between them starting in the tournament stages, because obviously they qualified as a top seed, uh, qualified as a second seed, so they got a week's rest. They came in and they fought, and they um, they deserved it. They deserved the the win that they got. So they beat Foreign Fighters United, and um, sorry, they beat TMA first convincing win TMA had fought hard Foreign Fighters United did a shock upset beating the number one seed which is Tickle Squad uh, Foreign Fighters United beat them I believe it was like 5-3 but I didn't realise that the semi-finals and the finals were played on the same game so uh, played on the same day sorry so those matches were played and then the, I, I actually watched the final before I'd watched the other two um, which kind of threw me out a little bit but Lizard Squad came out they were very convincing I think the score was like 5-1 um, and well done to Wuxik and the team. This is the image that they uh, they got for congratulations. So well done to those guys. Um, you know, really well done, especially with the comeback after the first after the first loss. But incredible scenes. So now we're going into season two, and um, with that quick round up there, I want to bring you uh, team by team what's going on. Uh, I've got lots of things actually that I need. I need this computer, for instance. Uh, lots of things going on so you know I'm just gonna quickly so we've done a recap it was a brief recap it was really quick because obviously the crucial part is this season it's the new season but well done to tickle squad uh, well done to lizard squad nonetheless they were they were the team to be as uh, once they beat commando jungler I think there was no doubt in our minds that they were one of the strongest teams in the league and they go in this time with a whole new uh new system so season two is bringing us lots of interesting things we have new rules which we have to abide by and i'm gonna go through those right now so the rule system this is very 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 interesting so it starts off the first point i've got is a lag test now the lag test is very interesting it's a very good and useful thing that i think um you know providing the teams have got the time to do this as well they don't have to have a lag test but let me read you this lag test prior to the start of a match after both teams have entered the custom server either team captain can request a lag test if it, uh, either team captain does request a lag test the server will be set on quarry best of one two minutes and the team captains will have the time to check player lag check that their players aren't bouncing uh, for the other teams check their players aren't bouncing to check that they're not bouncing on each other's screens as well um, after that is done after playing that little rubber band thing any bugs and issues can be fixed before that an additional 15 minutes grace period is given before the game so there's a 15 minute grace period obviously from the time that's said 50 minutes from then the guy the time uh, the game has to start but if they're doing a lag test then they get another 50 minutes on top of that um a sub can replace a lagging player which is you know a bonus uh, or the lagging player can re enter the server after the attempted fix has, has happened so once that's if the if the player lags out again um then they are prohibited from playing that match so then the team will go down to three four or sub will come in uh, if a team captain uh, sees a player lagging on their screen they have to say to the other team captain and the other team captain has to remove them from the game. If they refuse to move them from the game, video evidence must be taken of the lag test beforehand, the lag test in which the other which the player came out, and then lagging during the game 
in which um, in which it was actually happening and the refusal of course um, so lag test is, is brand new uh, comes into this another thing that's brand new hollow point obviously came out with one of the previous updates and it's a bit of a game changer especially with not being able to regen health the only way in which you can stop hollow point would be by dying which is obviously a bit strange but there was a vote they've got rid of hollow point but ammo crates are now in so you can get ammo back you can't get health back but you can get ammo back uh, which is also a game changer as well because running out of bullets was certainly uh, certainly something that was uh, was interesting it puts teams in interesting perspectives I preferred it without without the ammo crates but you can get ammo now anyway there's a whole new point system uh, this is super super interesting Teams are awarded 30 points for a win and 10 points each for a draw. 180 being the top uh, score a team can achieve via win points. Um, and then there's a potential 30 points to be added for your round loss difference. So, for, for instance, if you're smoking teams 5-0 and uh, obviously you get 30 points for the win, then plus 5 for the, the round difference as well after that match. So... Really, your rounds count more now because they earn up the points. You win two games 5-0, then you've got a draws difference between you and another team, um, which is you know something that is brilliant for working on and can put the teams in, in better positions now. I prefer this. I think doing it with, with three points and ten points is, is a hell of a lot better than it was before with um, ten points and five points. But... Now it's a case of who can be more convincing at winning. Um, you know, you can win all your games 5-4. So you get, you know, you win six games 5-4, you've got plus six. If if one team, you know, has lost one game, wins 4-5-4, four, four, and then wins the last one 5-0, it puts them in a, a, just a better position than you because of them, them extra bonus points that you can get for the round. So that's another bonus that we've got now. All the teams have made it through to the playoff stages already. So eight teams qualify. There's only eight teams in each of the leagues for PlayStation, um, which means that everybody qualifies, and it means that at the tournament stage, you're playing for seeding the entire season. If you come first, you're playing last place, and vice versa. And the seeding works first v first v eighth, and so on, etc. Second v seventh, uh, third versus sixth, and fourth versus fifth. So that you're fighting for seeding the entire season you want to be looking at first place seed second place seed obviously you don't want to be playing you know the mid-pack teams if you're if you're coming fourth you've got to play fifth it's going to be very interesting because that's going to be the closest game and obviously first is always playing the lower the lower team until the final so that's you know there's more of a bonus being in first as well so it shakes everything up as well, especially with everybody qualifying for the playoffs already. Um, it changes the the system of this a hell of a lot more and makes it that everybody's got a chance to, to, to cause an upset on their day, which is, you know, I think brilliant. I think it just builds for a hell, for like, low, just, just better gameplay all around. Um, so, yeah, I've covered the seeding. The prize pool for Pro League is now double, but the entry fee was double. So, the entry fee for Pro League was $60 US and... $30 US for the D League. That's about the same price as it was as the previous year in D League, so the prize pool will be pretty much the same, but the prize pool for Pro League is now double because the entry fee was double as well. Both Uplink and Elimination maps are a part of this. Uh, I will go through each map each week of what we're going to be playing as well, just briefly, just so that you guys get a glimpse of, of what's going on. But I'm not sure how I feel about the maps that have been selected. Um, they all seem really small, rush kind of maps, but you know we'll we'll, we'll find out when it gets through to the games anyway. Um, but yeah, this is you know it's brand new. The way in which Pro League has completely changed from the previous season. It's like last season was 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 like a beta, and then this season we've got like a final product, something really really solid, and something that I uh, would think will will propel this now into uh, a new kind of era. Um, 
so that was the rules basically i wanted to, to speak on the rules because it's very crucial for me that i get those across to you guys especially for any of the new team captains as well make sure you know the rules really really well team captains things like uh, team suicides aren't covered in the rules um and and you need to know this kind of information so you can make those decisions when you're playing in your matches uh during the season so I want to now break down each team. Uh, see what? Yeah. So I just want to break down each team in each league, and uh, you know, just give you a rundown of, of of who's about, who's in, who's out, who's gone, who's stayed, you know, who's built B teams, etc. So we're going to kick things off with PlayStation Pro League, and I think it would be wrong to not start off with our current champions, uh, which is Lizard Squad. Lizard Squad, um, team captain is Wuxik. Their roster consists of Smokey, Peach, That Source, Matos, and Loon. If you guys can notice, it's not the same as their actual like gamer tags. I've just taken like the main word out and give and assign that to them because it just made it look a bit easier and a hell of a lot cleaner on the screen rather than having people's gamer tags where they've got like random numbers in and stuff. You know, let's identify these people. Let's say they got Smokey, they've got Peach, they got That Source, they got Matos, they got Loon. Wuxik obviously is their team captain. Um, if you haven't checked him out, make sure you go and check the man out. He's he's always doing videos on on team morale and and just playing. Does a hell of a lot of live streams as well. Team was formed uh, 2018. Your current PlayStation Pro champions, and uh, they obviously played in the first season, last season. Uh, still waiting on a team emblem, but that will come soon. And um, they are the reigning champs, a US team. They'll be looking to. To, to come and, and say this is our crown, this is our stomping ground, we've earned this so you know good luck to Lizard Squad, um, I tell you what let me just get up here, that's what I wanted, thank you, okay so um, we're going to look at the next team which I feel will be um, uh, one of the most you know what? No, no, no. Let's save that team. Let's save that team. Let's go for Foreign Fighters United, the finalists from the previous season. As we know, they are back again. So this is another team that's that's doing their thing second time round. Foreign Fighters United, their team captain is Zach. Uh, their roster consists of Awesome, the really good marksman, basic skill set, Predator, uh, Optenux, Drama, and Lag. Um, this is a solid team. They were your finalists, and they were placing like. They were fighting third, fourth place that uh, the entire season for the first season of PlayStation Pro League. So that was very interesting to see that, you know, that team was able to to trounce the 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 top boy, the the top dog tickle squad, and then get through to the final as well. So they had a terrific season last season. They're going to be back at it again. They're going to be pushing. Um, formed again, 2018 this year, and they are an Australian outlet. So it's really good to have a bit of you know variety in this in this game and i know that as time goes on as the community builds you know it will get broken down into north american europe and you know um ae i think it is uh, but yeah so brilliant they're back again so another team that are back as well is tma tma bad news as we know these guys qualified in the final week once Commander Juggler dropped out and you know they came in in the seventh place spot but then eventually became sixth place. Uh, that's run by Kel. Uh, roster, they've had a roster change. I don't know if Eki has changed his name or if Eki is just unavailable. But Big Frog, as we know, is in there. TMA Tufel. 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 TMA Chufel is a new player on their team. Al Capone is there, Mo Paddy and Shiggy. They all remain. Uh, the the team was formed in 2018 again. This time by TMA Esports. So it's a Dutch. It's not a Dutch. It's a German esports organization. I won't get that wrong this time, guys. Um, German esports organization. These guys pushed their way through to the semi-finals, beating Nickel Plate Killers in the first um, knockout stages after losing to them the week before previously as well. Really, really good team, great outlet, and you know these guys will definitely be pushing again for you know a finals position. Uh, so let's look at some teams that you know maybe maybe the uh, are brand new and possibly the most anticipated team of the season is Memento Team Memento, which is Team Captain Delta Elite. Obviously, Delta Elite, one of the biggest uh, Ghost Recon, Ghost War 
YouTubers um, out there right now. Possibly the biggest one, uh, maybe bar Carbonmeister or, or you know, as you would say, he's definitely up there. He's recognised in this community. He could play any role. Super Saiyan, absolutely insane marksman, possibly one of the best snipers in the game. Uh, Fire Hardcore, Philip, the real Tony, and I'm going to say Dykes. I think his name's Kevin. <laughs> but yeah, this this is a this is a mixed team. Everybody is from different nationalities. I think Philip's from Portugal or something like that. Super Saiyan from Netherlands or something. I can't remember the flags. Obviously, Delta Elite is is US as well. So you know, we stuck the UN flag in there. Um, possibly the most anticipated team in this league. They will be looking to come out hard, fast, and make sure they cement their their place in the pro league. So these guys will be gunning for nothing but first, most definitely. So that's Team Memento. Let's take a look. Let me just. Just bear with me a second. Da, 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 da. Right, let's let's check out Team Dow. So Team Dow is a new team, um, which is done by Doctor Knockers, who is Dom of the Dow. He is a 1K Ghost Recon YouTuber. Um, very big, consistent content, really good. Um, his roster consists of Smittyville, Tactic Ops, Rampage, MC for Life, and Chris Stringer. Um, I don't know anything about these players, how they play. I've never really watched Dom of the Dow play um, Ghost Recon neither. So it's going to be interesting to see how they tackle their first season in Pro League. Another US uh, American team. And these guys are going to be looking to, to fight. The, every team is, is coming here. Every new team is coming here to cement a position, to, to make a point. Returning teams are coming to say, this is our garden. Stay out. So it's going to be really, really interesting. But this is Team Dow. Um, I'm sure you guys will find out more information about this as the season goes on as well. Let's take a look at... Da, 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 da. Fluidity Gaming. See, I've got them all in one in one thing, so it doesn't really help. But yes, so Fluidity Gaming started up by Fluidity. Uh, his roster consists of Pink Bunny, Prometheus, Six Paths. I think this is Forsaken, but don't quote me. Uh, and Zeniths. Uh, this is their first season in Pro League. Uh, they'll be trying to be a, a standout, obviously, as will all the new teams that come in. But their first match is against Foreign Fighters United, which is, you know... A, a team that's returning this season so it's going to be interesting to see how fluidity get on most definitely um so that remains that leaves sorry we've done tma we've done lizard squad we've done fluidity we've done foreign fighters we've done team now we've done memento that leaves two teams that currently don't have rosters locked so as it stands uh, we have got two teams which is Last season's top seed, Tickle Squad, and a new team called Rundown Squad. Uh, Tickle Squad, founded by Mike Sauce. Their rosters are currently unfinished. There's only two of them on that roster. And JDMYC, who's made Rundown Squad, there is only himself in his team. Now, rosters lock on the 25th of May, which is, if I'm not mistaken, some point next week. <laughs> um... So at some point next week, the 25th of May, the rosters lock. So basically that means if these two teams don't have their rosters filled out by them, I mean, I think uh, Tickle Squad are fine because they have the minimum amount of players to be able to play. So they've got two players. But Rundown Squad might get cut from the competition. So I didn't do too much information on these guys. Both US teams, um, Tickle Squad were obviously top seed last season and Rundown Squad are a new team you know coming to compete in the pro league i feel like if you've paid the money for the pro league you guys are you know you're gunning to win it's it's a 60 dollar entry so you guys are trying to win that um and that tops off your pro league uh, which is absolutely awesome it's going to be interesting to see how they get on i'm going to watch memento's game after this as well so you know i'll try and keep tabs on players individual stats as well this season which is something i'm looking forward to doing so make sure you guys just stay tuned in for that and um, let's move on to the d league so the d league is is just interesting always because i think this is going to be super super tight we kick things off with the liberty ghost lords uh, brand new team they're a task force 
and they come in. Mr. Axelrod is the founder. We've got Zed Guilty, Tactic TV, GS Stoner, Cota Blaine, and YPR16. These, this is the roster. Um, they were formed in 2016 by Mr. Axelrod. Uh, the first time they play at this competitive level. New team, predominantly US. Uh, I believe maybe Mr. Axel's from Panama, I think, or something like that. Um, they have claimed on their website that they will be looking to win the league this season and then propel themselves into the Pro League the following season. So these guys are out to win it, which is great. This is absolutely brilliant. It's it's just, I want to see first com competition in this. So the next team we're going to look at, God's Fury, made by Angel Anger. DVS1, Empire Creator, Big Bones Doc, Greek Inked, and Peachy Pappy. That's the team that they've got right there. Another US team as well, looking to make their mark. Everybody, you know, especially if, you, if you're if you like just a regular cash player like what we are, definitely look into, into starting off in the D-League. I definitely think that, that will benefit you trying to get into competitive mode as well. So this team, again, looking to solidify themselves in this league. Foreign Fighters United 2. So Foreign Fighters United have expanded. They have made a B team, which was founded um, obviously by the previous team, but founded and formed by Dirk Diggler. This is FFU Dirk Diggler. Um, the roster, Soul Repeater, No Respect, I Am Wog, Booktown Killer, and Merc. These guys are obviously a B team. They're developing their... their players into potentially playing for the first team playing alongside players like awesome uh, basic skill set you know these players are it gives them another competitive edge you know if they don't win the pro league but they win the d league you take the money you split the money from the d league you play your entry fees for both the d league and the pro league the following season so having two tiers can benefit you massively in this world of, of, of GWL, this, this Ghost Recon um, esports. So it's interesting to see that they've got a team, but another team with a B team is Lizard Squad. D Lizard Squad, obviously team captain is Wuxik. They've only got three players, Slim Jesus, Nameless, Rage and Nerd Rage. And obviously Wuxik will play along them to make the four. Another development team, again, gives you that advantage. If, if, you're, if your D team turn up, they win the season and, you know, that that it just covers costs. It covers costs massively, so it's a really really impressive thing. Sorry, I'm a bit sniffly. I'm I'm, I'm unwell at the minute, <laughs> but yeah. So really really good, man. It's nice to see that a couple of teams are trying to expand themselves. Uh, but the next team that I'm going to talk about is Vengeance. Vengeance are a brand new team. Team captain is Vertuk. Uh, they have Ash, Axel Foley, Zed Shady, Quick Hatch, Eternal, and. And Toretto, and that team um, is brand new. We're playing them first game this season, so it's going to be interesting to see how we get on. Um, looking to be competitive, another uh, American team, so we're going to see how we get on against these American teams. Um, <coughs> speaking of American teams, though, I want to touch on Tortured Nightmare, founded by B Boy Quest. If you don't know him, he was the founder of Nickel Player Killers in the previous season. Obviously, they qualified and got all the way up to the quarters of the playoffs. Um, so they're, they're back again but under new branding so they are now Tortured Nightmare uh, the logo looks absolutely awesome super clean that's OG Tater, Chisington, Deathstroke and Miami Heat and obviously B-Boy Quest himself they've subbed in against us as well so they do like to play with a bit of rotation this is a team that's going to be competitive I think they'll be up there this season um, obviously we had a good game against them last season and it's nice to see that they've rebranded and come back again with something new. So, shouts to uh, shouts to Tortured Nightmare. Another UK team joins the scene, and that's Ambush Elite Unit. The team captain JJ Sniper, Smashy J, LJ Honor, Mace Windoof, Crucial, and Croson fill out the rest of the roster. Their first competitive season, they'll be looking to to try and represent UK the best with another UK team in there as well. They'll be looking to try and do it the best out of the two, most definitely, and then. Obviously, push on, try and win. So, ambush elite unit, brand new team. Um, so, uh, the JJ Sniper is actually an American as well, so it's interesting to see how that goes down. If he's from America or if he's an American living in the UK, um, 
And then the the last team I want to talk about is obviously my own team, Fuko Gaming, hosted by, hosted, founded by uh, me, my music platform, Fresh K Official. Um, team captain is me, Pacemaker. Obviously, that's not my game tag there, so I can't use it. Um, but the roster, Mocking James, Dry Mode, Hakimika, we've kept the team exactly the same. Competed last season, finished eighth. Um, not a disappointing season. We hold our heads up high to finish eighth in a, a 12 team season. And, you know, we're only a bunch of people that just play the game. Do you know what I mean? We've got less than 500 hours played between us. It's it's absolutely incredible feat. So we're going to be competitive this year, we think. We think we're going to, we're going to be pushing and, and trying to play as good as we possibly can. And that's one way we're going to try and keep it. So with four minutes left, I just want to quickly look at the schedule. This is the Pro League schedule for this week. Memento play TMA Bad News. Rundown Squad got Tickle Squad. Dow have got Lizard Squad and Fluidity. I've got Foreign Fighters United. Predictions, Memento to win. Um, Tickle Squad to win. Uh, Lizard Squad to beat Dow. And Foreign Fighters United to beat Fluidity. I think that's most definitely what I would predict for the first week. As as um, Just quick predictions, but, but conscious predictions as well. Looking at the D-League, God's Fury versus Torture Nightmare. I'm going to go Torture Nightmare. Foreign Fighters United 2 versus Liberty Ghost Lords. I'm going to go Liberty Ghost Lords on this one. Uh, D Lizard Squad versus Ambush Elite Unit. I'm going to pick D Lizard Squad. And Fuku Gaming versus Vengeance. I don't predict that one because I'm playing it tomorrow. So <laughs> I've got to find out how it goes down. I'll make sure that's up on the channel for you guys as well, which is awesome. And yeah, that's pretty much where I wanted to take this to. Um, we're playing Vengeance at this point this week. The map we are playing on is Lumber Mill. As you can see here, it's big open area. It's quite squished. The spawns, the spawn points either side aren't too far away. Um, people are probably going to be playing the recon towers. Going to be a lot of drones. People play that central barn a lot. It's it's interesting. It's going to be super super interesting. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, shouts to Lizard Squad for winning last season. Shouts to all the teams that have entered this season, trying to build it each year. We have a total of 16 teams this year, broken down into two leagues. That's absolutely incredible. It's a bigger turnout than the previous season. So, shouts to all you guys, and uh, thanks for putting up with me being ill. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. Peace.